All right, guys. Hey, Dave here, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how you can add different stickers to make your cars look cool. We can pretty much do it on any car. I haven't found a car that I can't yet, so we're going to make some nice stickers just like this or whatever we want. So let's get into it. All right, so what you're gonna need is a decent copy of Photoshop. What I'm running is Photoshop 2021. So it's a CS type thing where you can do all sorts of different stuff plus video editing too. All right, so you need that. And we need the NVIDIA Texture Tools Exporter. So you just go to developer.nvidia.com Texture Tools Exporter, make an account, download the Adobe Photoshop plugin, and run that program. What it'll do is it'll install it in here in Photoshop, and this is how you can see if it's actually working. You just take, you open up any image, you want to file, and save as. What we're going to look for is this DDS NVIDIA Texture Tools Exporter. If you got that, you're good to go. I'll show you how to use that in a minute. Let's take a car. So we're not going to do this one. I've already done that. I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah, it definitely looks cool. Let's find something else. Let's do a, a Kunos car because everybody will have one of these. And we'll do a Ford. A Ford Mustang 2015. These are bad looking cars. Now, hey, you don't have to, it doesn't matter which of these colors you choose. It's all going to turn out the same and you'll be able to color it any way you want. Put any stickers on it that you want. You could open it in showroom here. Or you can go up here and open it in the showroom. So let's do that. And let's just wait for it to load up. So it's in the showroom, right? You can move it around, look at it, all that. What we want to do this is the way I like to do it. Kind of come to the back of the car, the back three quarters, and then click. What you're trying to find is the body part of the car. It's going to have this thing called TX Diffuse. And we want to copy down this skin zero, zero, underscore zero zero dot underscore dot AO. That's going to be the name that a set of course uses to find this particular car. So what we want to do is just copy that down. We're going to use it later. We hit these three little dots. And what we have to do is do two maps. The first one is called an ambient occlusion. And we want to calculate it at 2048, 2048. So we're going to go ahead and do that. It's going to take a second depending on your computer. And then we want to save this file. We want to save this file. We save it right down here or hit Control S. Save it. And we want to go to the common the set of course of blah 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 kunos ford mustang 2015 skins now all the different color skins are going to be here we want to make our own new folder so i'm going to make one called dmax d m a x that way i can find it and now i am going to go paste in the skin a o skin 00 a o and we want to save it as a png so the PNG, we're going to be able to open that up in Photoshop and it's going to have all this, the uh, shading and all that stuff in there. It's going to look really cool. So the next file, now you don't have to do this, but if you want to have a wireframe, you go to view mapping, view in 2048, 2048. You want the same resolution as when you did the calculate ambient occlusion. There we go and we want to save this too we're going to save it as a png we're going to call it wireframe we have skin ao and wireframe so let's go to our folder steam steam apps common a set of course of content cars and kunos ford mustang 215. let's go to our skins dmax and let's open up this png file now you would think you'd be able to edit right on here and you really can't because this is a shadow map so so light colors show up dark colors the kind of it gets darker on um, we we see all our nice shadows and stuff like that here what we're going to do is go select all edit copy 
file new. It's going to be 2048, 2048, just like before. And we're going to paste that in there. Okay, now we can edit. We're going to change the transfer mode of this uh, particular type of color. What I want to do is change the background to a white. Now you're not going to be able to see it right this second. Edit, fill, uh, foreground color is white. You're not going to be able to see any change here, but when I go to here, you're going to have to change this to multiple. Now this white color is actually bleeding through. So if we change our background color to maybe a, how about a dark green, right? Okay, so we got dark green, edit, fill, foreground color. Okay, now we're talking. Maybe that's not dark enough. Change it a little bit more. Edit, edit, and fill. And there's other ways to do it. But this, so the color is going to be a little bit darker now. You could even change it even darker. But it's going to be hard for us to see what the heck is going on in this demonstration if I make it real dark. So let me just change it again. Edit and fill. Each time I'm changing the actual color of the car. Now you, you can't tell yet because we haven't saved this. But if we file and save as a Photoshop document, we're in that 215 skins DMAX, control V. And we have it previously saved as a PNG, but we want to save this as a Photoshop document. Go ahead and save it. And we want to save it at a, as a DDS file. So this is where that NVIDIA thing comes in. So we go file, we go save as, we know it's a skin AO, skin 00.AO. We want to save it as a DDS. So let's save it. This little option box is going to come up. We want BC3, RGBA, 8BP, and interpolated alpha. You can copy down these things, but I you don't really need to change them. The only thing you might want to change is this faster. It just makes a smaller file or normal. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to leave it at, I'll just leave it at normal and go ahead and save that. And now we can open it in the showroom. And there it is. So we have our new color right there. The file that it's reading from, to this color, it's reading from the skin AO DDS file. So see, see the item it says DDS. It's not reading from the Photoshop file. In order to update this in real time, the way we want to, so we can change the colors and all this stuff, we have to go to skin editing mode. That's right here. And now it's going to look at the Photoshop file. It may change the color here, but that's okay. It's going to look at the Photoshop file. And that way we can do pretty much real time type uh, color changes and things like that. So let's just move this over here. So if we want to change the color, we go background, change the color, maybe a little bit golder color, edit, fill, gold color. Now we file, save, and it updates in real time. Okay, so if we don't like that color, now I know this can get a little bit boring, but say we want a bright, bright yellow. Edit, fill. Okay, we file, save, file, and save, and it updates. So I just wanted to show you that th you can do it in real time. So it's going to show up. You can even make lines that go down here. Like if, if you opened up that uh, file uh, open, and you open up the wireframe. Now the wireframe, edit, let's just edit and copy and edit and paste so so here we can see the wireframe so if you wanted to make a line right here or follow a particular thing that you really can't tell where it's going you can use the wireframe to do that you, but don't save it with the wireframe see if i save it with the wireframe save and it updates look at that yeah we got wireframe all over the car 
that's not cool. So let's take the wireframe off and uh, file and save. Once again, we got a new color. Everything's great. Okay, so let's add, I told you I'm gonna show you how to add text and stickers to it. So let's add a sticker. So go over here to the internet and let's get Sheets Gasoline. So we download this thing, save image as, if I save it as, as this, the, the PNG, it's going to be transparent. Now this would be PNG. I'm gonna show it here and I'm gonna just drag it on here. Now it's got the transparency. How about that? Yeah, but we don't wanna shout at people. We don't want people subscribing because we tell them to. We want them to, to want to subscribe. Let's do one thing to this. Let's add a layer and a layer style called stroke. So we're gonna to go to the stroke thing that's right here. You could do a bevel and boss too. That makes it pop even more. It looks a little bit weird, but we're gonna go ahead and do that. And let's resize this. So file and transform. We do trans free transform if we want. That way we can rotate it. And let's put it on the door. So we'll go shift and over here, 90 degrees. Right there. And we will just uh, finish this action. So we got a new layer called subscribe. Let's duplicate the layer and let's move it over here. But we got to flip it. So transform, rotate 180. Probably looks okay. Yeah, that looks okay. So look, and if it isn't, we can just change it. So we go save. And all of a sudden, there we go. Okay, so now you know how to do the color, sticker, and subscribe. All right, so that really looks cool. What we need to do now is, if once we finalize our design, we want to save it as, and we want to go back to the DDS thing. Make sure the file name is the same. So this one's a Photoshop. We don't want that. We want DDS, and we want to save it. There we go. Now we want BC3, RGBA, 8, BPP, and interpolated alpha, color map, box, normal, and save. Now it's going to look at this one in game to make a preview so the car shows up in, when we want to change the car, we want to, we actually have a preview and what it looks like. So what we want to do is take a screenshot. That looks pretty mean. Subscribe. or now that we could read it better that way. We could even turn the wheels or whatever we want to do. There's a couple of parameters for doing that kind of stuff over here. Car parameters. We could add a driver and crew or whatever. And we could steer the wheels. So I don't know. Let's, let's do that. Looks okay. Pretty good. Now we want to hit F8. Hit F8. Now it saved it. Now we want to go to this PC. Documents, Assetto Corsa, screen. There it is, right there. So we want to let's just copy this and let's put it in our other folder and let's paste it in here. And we want to rename this as preview. So we go to rename and we type in preview. So we got two more files to make. We made the preview that's this. We need to make a livery icon, which is pretty easy to do. So let's go ahead and do it. Now it's going to show up right here. We go back to Photoshop, File, New, and our 100 by 100 square. Edit, Paste. And now we have this. We're going to save this called Livery. Save As. And we go up to our Mustang DMAX, and we're going to call this Livery.png. There we go. And now. We have this thing here. All of a sudden it showed up right here. So we have the full full deal here. We've got the picture of the car right here. We've got the actual car with the paint. And we have this cool um, livery thing. Now, if you could see this 
name, DMAX, driver, team, number, we can fix that so that, you know, like this thing has some kind of whatever numbers on it. We can fix that too. We just need to edit one little text file. What we need to do is just go to a different directory of the same type of car. We can go to any of them. And we need this UI skin file. We right click copy, go back to ours, and paste it in here. It's going to be open with a notepad. So we go ahead and now we could name, put our name in here. Uh, Dmax car. How about that? Driver name and T big country. Whatever team you, you you can put anything you want in there. Just just don't um just don't mess with these commas. Number forty four and priority. I don't know what priority means, but have to look into that file and save. Now when we go up to this thing, it'll say. D Max Car, Bobby, Team Country, and 44. So we're all set. Let's go ahead and say OK. And let's race this thing. In our new car, look at all these paint jobs. These are cool. Look at this stuff. They're ready to go. And now you paint your car any color you want, put whatever stickers you want on it. Have some fun with it. I mean, this game is so easy. Yeah, it takes a little while to do this, this all these uh, different mods and things like that, but yeah, you know, have fun with it. Discovery, go at throttle up.